previous El Clasicos. When it comes to a game like this, form goes completely out of the window. We've seen Inter versus Milan a few weeks ago, which is the, the only fixture that is comparable to Real Madrid Barcelona. I've seen a few preemptors try and bring up certain fixtures as though they can be comparable with this game. There isn't any game in the Premier League that gets anywhere near this game. Uh, my point is, from my experience watching football, and you know how much I've been watching football, how long I've been watching football, longer than you guys have been alive. These matches, form goes out of the window and it tends to be general ability. As good as Barcelona have been, and they are the number one club in the power ranking and it's not remotely close and Hansi Flick, yes, is a much better manager than Ancelotti all of those things considered I, spoiler, have gone with 3-2 Real Madrid there's a couple of matchups that I don't like for Barcelona today against by stick to Premier League football <laughs> against Bayern Munich Barcelona won 4-1. It wasn't a 4-1 game. Barcelona were very smart in how they played when they didn't have the ball. But also Vincent Company was very tactically naive. Ancelotti, he's not the greatest tactically, but he's been here long enough to know exactly how to approach a game like this. Stylistically, I think it's a bad matchup for Barcelona. Stylistically, yes, we've seen all the La Liga matches so far this season. Real Madrid have struggled. Barcelona have looked exceptional. Stylistically, if you were to build a team in how you beat this Barcelona team, any team from the world, which team is the worst matchup for Barcelona? It's Real Madrid. Wally well, says, I'm confident we will beat Madrid 3-2. My only concern is our high line. Remember something. Back in 2021, Hansi Flick's Bayern Munich went out in the Champions League. Get close to me. Who eliminated them? Yes, there was no Robert Lewandowski for Bayern Munich. And if he played, we'll never know. But who caused Bayern Munich the most problems? It was a certain Kylian Mbappe. He loved playing against Hansi Flick's high line. He adored it. The stage is set. The biggest game in football. It always was the biggest game of football. It's never stopped being the biggest game of football. Dirty Filthy Premters disrespected this fixture. Tonight they're here watching. But they weren't there watching last season. They weren't there watching the year before. Another month, kind sir. May I recommend looking up the definition of spoiler kind sir because whatever you're putting out isn't there. Scarcia. That hairline is going behind the lines faster than Vinny. Target Penny, he's shitting himself. That's a ball, that's a ball, has to be. Far post, far post. Go! Incredible save. Offside, offside. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Check the line, check. Pause, 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 pause. I think he's just offside. It's been given offside. And Mbappe's celebrations have come to an end. But he's still rallying the fans. Ah, uh, great when he sees Vinicius Breen. That's not funny, chat, honestly. That's so fucked. Moz, get that fucker, get the SKTK guy out of here, man. Moz, Moz, the SKTK guy. Wipe that fucker out, man. Piece of shit. Rat bastard. What's a ball? Lewandowski, I think he's off. He scores, but he's offside. The, the, the flag has stayed down. 1-0 Barcelona, Lewandowski. It almost... I can't believe what I've just seen, because it almost felt to me like Lewandowski himself was the one that just decided to shoot the ball as though like he knew he was offside. Casado is a special, special player. It's incredible. Lewandowski, 2-0. Incredible. 2-0 Lewandowski, 2 goals Lewandowski. This one is done, I think. Barcelona in complete and utter control. Real Madrid stunned. 2-0 down. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm more than concerned here because 
I don't get matches like these wrong chat. So I don't think this game is over. Far from over. You're off, you're off Mbappe, man. You're off. Lift the fucking flag. You're wasting time. Lift the fucking flag, man. Piece of shit. Man. Like I am in utter disbelief, man. I don't make mistakes like these in matches like these. Lovely play by Olmo. This could be a hat trick for Lewandowski. And he's missed an open goal. Incredible. Lewandowski has missed an open goal. It would have been all but done. He's on, he's on. And Pape's on. If you miss this shit. If you miss this. You fucking fraud. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. Best player in the world, my left fucking ball sack. You're a disgrace. Rafinha, he can find Yamal. Yamal, who's had a quiet game. Three. Incredible. Lamine Yamal gets his first goal in El Clasico. Uh, Barcelona are humiliating Real Madrid at their own stadium. This is incredible scenes. Wow, wow, wow. Memories of 2022, but the key difference is you get the feeling. Unlike in 2022, this one is not a one-off. You get the feeling that Barcelona are firmly back on top. You get the feeling that the tide has completely shifted in Spain. This is memories of that 6-2 um, in 2009 when Pep Guardiola's Barcelona obliterated Real Madrid at that time. And that was the beginning of a turnaround. What's that, Yagami? Oh, the Barca fans in the chat are going crazy against the Madrid fans. The likes of Ercon, the likes of Amori. You can call me reactionary all you want. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. We, most of us, we watch all the top leagues, right? Um, stylistically, I think Real Madrid were the worst possible matchup for Barcelona. If Real Madrid get destroyed, it could be 4 0. Rafinha, disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Wow, wow, wow. I think the white handkerchiefs are about to come out soon. We are watching one of the all-time great performances. Give it to Mbappe. He doesn't give it to him. He gives, him, he gives it to him too late. And that sums up Real Madrid. Pretty sure that would have been offside. It is offside. Vinicius had the opportunity to play it to Mbappe, he doesn't. And then plays it when he's offside. Found Amori. That's not true, chat. That's not true. It is all over. Real Madrid, zero. B Barcelona, four. Oh, Ancelotti is not happy with some members of staff under Hansi Flick. Ancelotti has been taught a footballing lesson. Check pinned. What's up? You are so dumb to spoil against my team. Little coward, you dumb bald rat. Someone took a screenshot of the Barca game live and Amori in Rivals. We're going to have to conduct an investigation into this. If this is indeed true, we will have no choice but to remove the VIP of Amo from Amori. This is a very sad sight to see. For those who don't know who Amori is, of course, not only is he a Real Madrid fan, but he's also one of the best footballing minds of, of this upcoming generation. I look at him as my successor. Uh, but after this, I can no longer see that. I don't think this is uh, devastating to see. But we'll, we'll conduct an investigation today. Tough one oh four, very close again though. You've nearly cracked it today with these spoilers. Yet I'm still going to be ahead of you when the, when the week comes to an end. Make no mistake about it.
I'm still gonna be ahead of you, and that's the most important thing, Goggles. It's so funny. What, what, was this the first classical you've watched, by the way, in four years? And you have the audacity to come and talk football with me. We know what happened this week, while the Champions League was on. We know what happened. You were streaming the worst FIFA game ever made. We can't talk football anymore. There was a time when I used to enjoy having a discussion with you about football. Having a discussion about Manchester United with you. That time is long, long gone. Long gone. So the fact that you want to come in here at the end of this game and try and talk football with me. We can't talk football. I can't talk with you. It's impossible. I recommend going maybe to some other streamers and try and talk football with them. But football with me, you do not speak. <clears throat> the maddest thing is the more football you watch, the worse your knowledge gets. You're like Benjamin Button. Yet I had four correct spoilers this week. It's all well and good. Attack me when I got one wrong. I'll accept responsibility. It's unacceptable. Don't worry. Nobody's more disappointed than myself. Nobody. Nobody. I won't be able to sleep tonight. No problem. No problem. But no, no, nothing to say about my four correct spoilers this week. Either way. Casado in. <laughs> that fucking slap. <laughs> Don't kill me. On that note, thank you for watching. We'll sort the ranking properly tomorrow. We'll see, anyways. We've got to watch some other games. Uh, cheers for watching. Congratulations to Barcelona. Uh, you must be, and their fans obviously must be on cloud nine at the moment. Enjoy the evening. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll catch.